Today, let's make a diagram in a Google slide. And let me show you very quickly what that process looks like and why you might want to do such a thing. The first thing you want to do when you're working with diagrams is to get yourself a blank slide. We don't need all these placeholder text boxes. We don't need the presets. We just want a nice blank slide. So that's going to be slide two for me. This feature is up here under the insert menu. It's about halfway down, a little less. And when you click on diagram, it's going to open up all of these diagram categories. You have grid, hierarchy, timeline, process, relationship, and cycle. And obviously you're going to look at the information that you want to put in and decide what your information would fit into. If you're doing the hierarchy chart and showing the organization, of, of a school district or a business of some sort, you would use hierarchy. If you're looking at trying to make a timeline for a history class or the events in a book that you read or something else, the timeline feature is going to work really well. If you're trying to explain a process, you're going to use the process and relationships and cycles and grids. Look at your information first. Okay. That should guide everything else that you do. Let's look at the grid. All the features are the same as you go through things. You can decide how many levels you need. Now, if you needed six levels, six isn't an option, but you could certainly do three on one side and then three on another side and have all six of the features that you needed listed. So you get to think about how you want to combine the information. We'll go with four just because we can. The color schemes, you can select from one of these presets. You could also go in and customize it if you wanted to. That and these are the same colors throughout. If you're making a set of slides and doing several different kinds of diagrams, you've got the same color schemes that you can coordinate or contrast as you wish. Then you get to look at the presets. Here in grid, we have a variety. We have these four that we can choose from. And again, you're going to think about your information and where it is you want to put things and what kind of information you have that you need to put here. Do you want a big percentage number already preset? Do you have one, two, three, four, and then bulleted lists? Would you rather have percentages? It's up to what information you have. Once you have it selected, when you click on it, it's going to show up on the slide that you are currently in. And from there, you're just going to start editing the text boxes and typing over this placeholder text to make this work with the information that you have. Before you get too far into it, if you are interested, you can click and drag and select the entire thing and make it bigger so that it fits the slide a little better if you want to. Um, when I'm doing this with a class, I go in and make it as big as I can so that everybody can see it because of the way my room is set up and how I want things to look. And you can select everything. You can also go in and change the font sizes and the fonts and customize it to go with whatever else this might be. This could be an entire slide deck that's an assortment of diagrams and videos and information like you would use in a slide deck. You could also do this where you're making this one diagram that you then want to include in a larger presentation off somewhere else. And you can do that by going up here to file and down here to download. When you get done with all of the edits you want to make, you can download this as a PDF or as an image file type and then insert this into a report that you're writing or another slide deck or any number of things. You put it on your website if you want to, depending on what your purposes are and how you want to use this finished product. It's a really nice way to make the diagram that you want out of the information that you have and want to use instead of being stuck with a diagram from another source that maybe doesn't address things the way you want them addressed. So that is the diagram feature. Again, that's over here under Insert and Diagram in Google Slides.